Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Cheryl. Thank you very much for joining me. If you're new here, hello, welcome. And if you're returning here, hello, welcome back. This is going to be a weekend vlog. So, um, I just wanted to start it. It's Friday night around 8.15 p.m. Until, um, why was I going to say July? Oh my goodness, October 13th. Um, just a few things to talk about. First, a little bit of a life update. I dyed my hair. It was the first time I dyed my hair myself, and I think I did a pretty good job. It's kind of a reddish, kind of a wine color. It doesn't look the best right now because I haven't really styled it. I'm in bed, so. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and then I cut these, I don't know what they're called. I forget what they're called, but bangs, you know, when window pane bangs? I don't know, something like that. And um, curtain bangs, that's what they're called. I did that, and I cut my hair a bit, and, you know, cut my bangs, gave me a, gave myself a little bit more bangs. It doesn't look the best. I mean, it looks really good this morning. I'll try and style it tomorrow, maybe, and see if I can get it to look better. But I did my hair. I'm really pleased with it. You can't really tell this lighting that it's red, but it is red, and I really like it. It's kind of like an auburn, kind of, not an auburn, kind of like a burgundy like a wine color almost, and it's just, I really like it. I think for a first timer, it was pretty good. I'm a little bit more my natural color down here, so I didn't even it out, but for a first timer, I think it did pretty good. So anyways, and then as you can see, I've got my books up there. Those are all my owned books. You can see all those. I have some more as well. I have a few more across my room, but I bought some of those stands that you can see set up some of the books. I'm very happy with them. That one right there is the book that I am in, my short stories in, and I'm very happy about that. That one's an uh, annotated Anna Green Gables, which I love. That one is a illustrated Anna Green Gables that Ryan gave me. I love it so much. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. So I've got my library books all on my TBR cart now because I bought one and I finally put it together. Yay! <laughs> Took me so long to get it together. Anyways, I'm just watching YouTube right now and I'm going, I'm doing some knit, some crocheting. So I wanted to show you what I'm making. I'm doing a lot of crocheting and knitting and loom knitting lately. I've just been really enjoying it. So one thing I'm making is a Triceratops dinosaur for, um, the little three-year-old I look after, he loves dinosaurs. So this will be, like the face will go in here and the triceratop thing will be here. Like the little, the head. So yeah, I'm excited to make that. It's about, it'll probably be about that tall maybe. I'm not sure, I'm not good at measurements. But it's a free pattern and there's a whole bunch of dinosaur free patterns on this website. I don't even, I don't have it queued up. I don't know what website it is, but I will link it below. Um, it's all free patterns, so I love that. I'm making it with Burnett Premium. Don't know what color this is. I think it's emerald, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, just been working on that. I'm using a, well, we gotta get this right, 3.5, oh, no, that doesn't really work. 3.5 millimeter, I believe, yeah, which is an, I don't know what, uh, a D, no, size double zero, is that what it is? I can't read, I mean, my eyes don't work. There's two zeros, does that mean it's a double zero? I don't know. Anyways. I go by millimeters. I don't go by numbers or letters. I go by millimeters. So this is a 3.5. Yeah. Just working on that. I'm watching some YouTube. I did read quite a bit today. So yes, no, two days ago I finished the book. Um, what was it called? The Collected Regrets of Clover. I forget who wrote it, but I'll put the picture up here or over there somewhere. 
Um, I brought it back to the library already because it was due back, but I really enjoyed that book. It was very sad, um, but it was beautiful in the best way. It was just so good, so I really enjoyed that. And then I've started a few books, but today, let me just show you. Come here. I started reading... This is an author that I've been thinking of reading and I have never read from. But I got three of her books, so I'm happy I'm enjoying this. This is The Vanishing at Castle Moreau by Jamie Jo Wright. Jamie Jo Wright writes kind of uh, Christian fiction that is kind of paranormal, suspenseful, uh, with an explanation kind of thing. So I'm really enjoying this so far. It's kind of like, it's it's like a gothic Class, like it, almost like a gothic classic. Um, it's really good, but Christian, so that's kind of cool. I'm really enjoying it. Ooh, it's a Christie Award winning. I'm really enjoying it. So I'm. Oh, it's Blur by Rachel Hawk. An imaginative and mysterious tale. Another author I want to read from, Rachel Hawk. Yeah. Lynette Eason also wrote um, wrote a blurb on here. Jamie Dorite never disappoints, and The Vanishing at Castle Moreau is no exception. With real, flawed characters who grapple with real-life struggles, this gripping suspense novel will draw readers in from the very first page. Good luck putting it down. I couldn't. I couldn't either. I read this morning. I got up at 7.30, and I just started it and read like 110 pages, 15 pages, something like that. And now I'm on 155. I'm really enjoying it. So far, um, it's got two timelines, well, three timelines, really. It's kind of hard to explain. So what happens, there's, okay, I'm just going to read the back to you. In 1870, orphan Daisy Francois takes a position as housemaid at a Wisconsin castle to escape the horrors of her past life. There she finds a reclusive and eccentric gothic authoress who hides tales more harrowing than the ones in her novels. As women disappear from the area and the eerie circumstances seem to parallel a local legend, Daisy is thrust into a web that could ultimately steal her sanity, if not her life. In the present day, Cleo Clemens is hired by the grandson of an American aristocrat family to help his grandmother face her hoarding in the dip, dip, dilapidated Castle Moreau. But when Cleo uncovers more than just the woman's stash of collectibles, a century-old mystery and the dust of the old castle's curse threaten to rise again, this time to leave no one alive to tell the sordid tale. And then it also has a timeline of the daughter of the person who built the castle moral, the guy who built it back in the 1800s. And... I really... I mean, I think it's a girl. I'm wondering, though... If there's things happening. I'm not sure if I should say anything because I don't know if it's a spoiler. I have theories. Let's just say it that way. So I'm really enjoying it. And um, yeah, but I think I'm going to do some more crocheting and watch some YouTube. And then I will probably go to bed because I'm really tired. I might put on an audiobook. I'm listening to Murder and the Mole by... Um, I'll put the picture up here. Can't think of who wrote it. Uh, nope, can't think of who wrote it, but it's a really good audiobook. I'm listening to that. It's a mystery. It's a cozy mystery. She wrote the Adobe and, no, um, I can't think. I can't think of what the series is called. Anyways. I'll put the picture up here. I'm listening to that one on audio, so. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. It is 11.10 in the morning. I had a very lazy morning. I just kind of laid in bed and just relaxed. It was really nice. Um, 
Yeah, I wanted to get up early and read because I did that yesterday morning and really enjoyed it, but I didn't. I just dreamt. And I like, I'm a daydreamer, so, oh, sorry, hang on. I'm a daydreamer, so I like to lay in bed and just dream, you know, about life. I've got my mug, Happy Pumpkin Spice Latte season, and I have uh, some hot chocolate. Yes, I did take insulin, thanks for asking. <laughs> I'm a good diabetic. Not the best, but I'm good. <laughs> it's my breakfast. I did have a piece of toast with it. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just an update on my health. My diabetes is doing really good. I'm on a fast acting and long acting insulin now and it's working really well. Um, and I find I don't have to take as much, um, fast acting insulin now. So that's good. And, uh, for the, for like, for all you diabetics out there, I was taking like 40 units of insulin. Well, probably about 30 units for each meal. And now I'm taking like eight. So <laughs> it's really good. It's not because I'm necessarily eating better. I am eating better, but it's not just that. It's that I have long acting insulin in me as well. I take 12 in the morning and 12 at night. So that's really good. Hasn't helped with my weight because I gain weight whenever I run on insulin. So, because insulin makes you gain weight. If you didn't know, it's not necessarily the sugar that makes you gain weight. It's the sugar that turns in that, it's the insulin used to get rid of the sugar that makes you gain weight. Just to let you know. Anyways, sugar makes, like, it, it's a whole thing. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really the insulin that your body, body, uh, needs to get rid of these sugars so the more sugar you eat the more insulin you need and if your body provides it normally through pancreas the body provides i don't know why i'm going on this big health thing i'm sorry normally a person um person's pancreas provides enough and then you just watch what you eat but um i have diabetes so my pancreas doesn't produce enough insulin so yeah so anyways, um, I'm just going to knit for a while. I'm just watching YouTube. I'm watching Kate Howe's um, video about uh, Middlemarch, her husband in Middlemarch, which is exciting. I hope I marry a, a, um, a bookish man because I think that would be cool to do videos with him. Like, that would be cool to do bookish videos with him and talk books with him. That would be cool. So I hope I marry a bookish man. I'm not dating anyone right now. I do like someone, but... He hasn't asked me out yet, so. But, um, yeah. I'm just knitting, I'm knitting a dishcloth. Just a simple, um, diagonal dishcloth. So, I'm doing that. I'm just going to do that while, I'll, just an easy product to do while I'm watching YouTube and drinking hot chocolate. And, uh, yeah, I also make my hot chocolate very weak. So, <laughs> that's another thing. I don't put as much hot chocolate mix in as most people do. And I make it with hot water instead of milk, so it's not as much sugar. But it just kind of takes the the craving for sugar away, because I do have a sweet tooth. I do love chocolate, and I love sweet tooth. I have a sweet tooth, so. Yeah. I think I'll just knit for a while. I don't really have much to say. Uh, last night, I did not do any reading. Oh, I wanted to say, though, um, I am reading on my e-reader. I bought the book, um, what's it called? Save the Cat, how, no, Save the Cat Writes a YA Novel, and if you've read Save the Cat Writes a Novel, it is, okay, I don't know if I explained this on this video yet, Save the Cat is a metaphor for a, um, how to structure a book when you write a book, if you don't know, I am a writer as well, and, um, Save the Cat is a, wait, is a book that, Oh, I forget his name. He's a screenwriter, wrote for screenwriting. And then Jessica Brody took it and wrote a book called Save the Cat Writes a Novel. And that is about novel writing and the structure of novels and the, the 15 beats that a novel hits and she gets examples and stuff. And I just recently was watching Bethany Atisea's video and she's an author tube video, um, author tuber. And she was saying, she was talking about Jessica Brody's new, new book, I'm so out of it. I'm so sorry. I'm so tired. She's talking about her new book, uh, 
Save the Cat Writes Away novel. And since I'm writing a middle grade and I'm thinking of making it kind of like Harry Potter where it goes from like middle grade and then they age up as they, like you grow up with them like you do in Harry Potter. I think I'd like to do that. Um, of course, I'll never <laughs> be as good as the Harry Potter books. But anyways, um, I want to write a, a series like that. So um, I decided to buy the book basically because Beth Bethany was saying that Jessica goes more into details in this book about the Beats, um, which is, I mean, if you don't know what Beats is, it's basically uh, the structure, like um, you have to hit this certain amount. This has to happen at this percentage of a book, and uh, it's all different, but it's, it's every book has the same Beats. So, um, well, most books have the same Beats. So I bought the ebook because I can't afford the the regular book. It was like $15 more expensive to get the paperback, so I just bought the ebook, and I'm really enjoying it. I think I'm getting so many. It's become a lot clearer in my head how a book is structured, reading this book than the original Save the Cat Rachel novel, because she goes into more detail, and her examples make more sense to me than the Save the Cat Rates novel. I don't know why, it just does. So um, it's clicked a lot. So I've been reading that recently and trying to write out an outline for my first book and then potentially for the rest of the series as well. Um, I want to have the book wrapped up so that if it does get published and because I do want to maybe get it published someday, it, it'll have the possibility of becoming a series but not necessarily. So because a lot of um, publishers don't want to commit to a series right away if they don't know the author because I'm a newbie, they don't know me. So, um, yeah. So I think I do some of that today. I haven't really written much on my outline. I'm still working on reading the ebook and then I'm going to, I'm taking notes and stuff. So I'm going to do that today. I also want to finish a book. I am reading the, va I'm looking over there. The Vanishing of Castle Moreau. I want to finish that book, but at the same time, I have three other books that are due. One that's due at the library in two days on Monday, and then two that's due on Wednesday. So I kind of want to finish those as well. There's going to be a lot of reading going on soon, so yeah, I'm excited. But right now I'm going to knit because I just don't feel like reading. My brain's not braining. I'm still very tired. I had a good sleep last night, but... When I do have good sleeps, I end up being really tired the next day. When I don't have good sleeps, when I have just a few hours sleep, I'm doing, I do really well. That's my sweet spot is getting like five to six hours sleep. That's my sweet spot because I feel energized the next day. But I got about nine hours last night, so I'm extra tired today. But it's just the way I am. I can't get a lot of sleep. So, oh, all right, I will talk to you later and I'll do an update. Hi. Hi. Okay, I haven't updated you all day because I've been sleeping. Kind of not really sleeping. I Okay, let me explain. It is now almost 4.15 in the afternoon. I didn't take my meds until 9.30 this morning. Now that's really late for me. Oh, I got some pergy on my shirt. Um... <laughs> When I take my pills late, I take some brain pills. So um, I call them brain pills. They're pills for my Tourette's and for my ADHD and for my panic disorder, all that stuff. So um, I took my pills late, and I usually take them around 7.30, 8 o'clock at the latest. So I took them at 9.30 this morning. So when I do that, my brain does not brain all day <laughs> until like 5 or so. And, and then it brains all night. And so... Um, yeah, I ended up just feeling like I couldn't think, I couldn't do anything, I slept, I had what I refer to as realistic dreams, which are dreams that I don't know if it's actually happening or if it's in my dreams, it's just really weird. And I eventually get out of it, which I did at 4 o'clock, I finally got out of it, and, and it's fine, it's something I deal with on a regular, you know, but it usually only happens when I take my pills late. Um, I don't, I mean, full transparency here, I don't mind talking about my mental health. Um, it's a health problem. It's just like any other health problem. It's just in my brain. You know, the brain's a part of a body too. <laughs> you wouldn't deny someone who has diabetes insulin, would you? But you, I hate it when people deny kids or other people that have mental problems 
medication because it's it's to do with the brain. The brain's part of the body. But anyways, I digress. So, um, I, it's 4.15 now. I am finally out of the funk and I just had my dinner because I woke up with low blood sugar. So I had some little fruit gummies. Um, not those kind of gummies. <laughs> I mean, literally fruit gummies. And I had some of those. I don't do those kind of gummies. <laughs> I had some fruits gummies for to get the sugar normal, and then I had some progies for dinner to stabilize it. I'll probably have to take a little bit of insulin because progies have potato in it, and potatoes aren't good for diabetics. They have starch in it, so um, yeah. But I think I think I'm finally going to start reading, so I'm very excited. I'm going to read part of my ebook to do with my. Uh, writing the Save the Cat Writes a Young YA novel. I'm going to read some of that. I'll put the picture up here. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to read some of that. And I'm on the, almost done the, the chapter about the beats. And then the next chapter is about, um, the, like, to design your own beats for series and stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh, I'm moving my camera a lot. I'm sorry. Okay, so I will talk to you in a bit. So, obviously, I haven't done anything today, which is fine. I don't have a job, and it's the weekend and everything, so that's fine. But um, I did want to get more done by now. But, oh, well, I kind of, I base my days on how I feel, and I just didn't feel it today. So, that's okay. I will, do you like my shirt? I love this shirt. I couldn't find it this summer, and I wear it every summer, and I couldn't find it. And then I finally found it, and now it's winter almost, and I'm wearing it, and I love it. So, okay, talk to you later. Hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> it's now an hour later. I have not done any reading or anything. Again, I've been lying down watching YouTube. It's just a very lazy day, and I'm okay with that. Things like this happen, days like this happen, probably more so to me than most people, just because of my health, but... I'm fine with that. So, I've got my lava lamp on. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. I'm going to turn off my light, and I'm going to read with a reader's light, um, which I will show you is, where is it? It's on my bed. I've got so much stuff on my bed. It's ridiculous. It's a good thing I have a big bed, which isn't my bed. It's my landlord's bed, but I mean, I I rent the place with the bed in it, you know what I mean? So, it came with the bed. I don't know where my reader's light is. Do, do, do. Anyways, I've got a little reader's light that you uh, clip onto your page, you know? My computer just unplugged. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I don't know which book I'm going to read. Am I either going to read The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes? Because I have to finish this by Monday. But I really want to re read The Vanishing of House and Moreau by Jamie Jo Wright. I don't know. I really like this cover. That cover doesn't really do it for me. But I think I'm going to read this one because I really want to. And I have tomorrow to read this. So, oh, my bookmark just fell out. Darn it. My bookmark just fell out. It's a bunch of doggies. Yes, I'm around kids all the time. I call them doggies, okay? Oh, now we miss my kids. I have a little three-year-old that I look after quite often. I miss them. I haven't seen them in about two weeks, so I really miss them. But anyways, um, I have another kid I babysit too, but he's older. I miss the little one more, probably because I've been with him more longer. I've been looking after him for two years, so... Anyways, going to read this. I'm going to go turn off my light, use my reader's light, because I just find it more cozy. You can't see me with that, though, so I'm not going to do time lapse, which, by the way, I found out how to do time lapses, which is very exciting. You've probably already seen one. I got some mocha, a bit of hot chocolate, and a bit of coffee, so I'm excited to drink that. Uh, I took my insulin... I'm not taking my meds yet, but I got in my pajamas because it's 5 o'clock and when I don't have anything to do in the evening, I like to get dressed early in my pajamas because pajamas are the way to go. Am I right or am I right? So, 
gonna get up and turn off my lights and get started some reading. Okay, bye. Okay, I've got a tuna salad. It just has a little bit of shredded cheese, nacho cheese, some spinach leaves, and some tuna, and some peppercorn, I'm out of breath, some peppercorn ranch dressing. I apologize if you can hear my landlords and their friends outside. They have a fireplace thing outside my window, and they're always loud at night because they're always there. So, hopefully you can't hear them. Um, I'm going to eat this. This often settles my stomach at night. Um, at least the tuna does, and I thought I'd add the spinach leaves. Because when I make salads, I usually make them with spinach leaves instead of lettuce. I just prefer spinach leaves. The lettuce often makes me sick, so <laughs> I don't know why, but. And this will bring down my blood sugar a bit for the night, which is good. I mean, I know I've talked about diabetes a lot today. I'm so sorry. I know if you're not interested, I'm so sorry. It's just, it's a big part of my life. And right now, being on this new fast-acting insulin, I'm trying to figure out how much to take all the time. So my blood sugar is going up and down a lot, which is kind of normal for diabetes. I wish I was the type of person who ate the same things every day and at the same times and got the same amount of exercise every day so that you that I could just take the right amount of insulin. But I don't. And so um, it changes every day. And I'm still trying to figure out what to take for what meal. So, and I am drinking hot chocolate once or twice a day. I mean, I make it quite weak, but still, it's not good. And um, so I have to take insulin for that too. But this should bring it down a bit, so that's good. At least the tuna and a bit of the cheese will help bring it down. Um, whew, I was just watching YouTube. I'm watching Christina's chapters. Um, if I remember to link these YouTubes below I, channels, I will. But um, you should check it out. She's pretty cool. Um, so my arm really hurts, and holding a book really hurts my arm, as well as ebooks. Holding anything really hurts my right arm right now, so um, I don't know if I'm going to get much done tonight. I really want to finish The Vanishing of Castle Moreau, but I don't know. And I haven't done any work on my writing today, so I think tonight will probably be a sleepless night, because I slept so much today, so I might get some work done, or I might just watch YouTube all night if I'm not braining well. Um, my brain's still not working very well. So <laughs> it, I'm kind of used to it. I have those days, you know, where it just doesn't work very well. And then that's fine. I know I have a brain. <laughs> Don't worry. I do have a brain. It's just not working very well today. And, and I have those days. Usually once or twice every couple weeks I have a day where I just can't think. And it's I kind of have a useless, boring day and a wasted day. But that's okay. My body does what it needs to do. Um, I'm still thinking about a quote-unquote realistic dream I had. It's still bothering me. It's not a nightmare, but to me personally, they're nightmares because I, when I was in the hospital in 2014, I almost died there. I was there for three months and I lost a lot of my memory. So when I dream now, these quote-unquote realistic dreams where I feel like I'm in the dream, um, I don't know if those are actually actual memories or if it's just something that I thought up or dreamt. So I'm still trying to figure that out. Often I go to my dad or my brothers and say, hey, did this really happen? And they're so used to it, they just laugh. I'm like, no, Joe, that never happens. <laughs> You're dreaming. <laughs> so it's fine. But um, And they're honest with me on that. You know, if I remember something bad and I say it and they're like, yeah, that really did happen. And I'm like, okay, well, now I know. <laughs> but um, I got a lot of my memories back after I got better, but not everything. So once in a while, I'll think of something like, wow, I forgot about that, you know. But when, when I have these dreams, I don't know if they're real or not. So, or real memories or not. So I'm trying to figure that out right now. It's bothering me. It really shouldn't bother me, but it does. It's not a bad memory. It's just a memory I don't remember. So to me, it's like a nightmare. I know it sounds weird, but I'm trying to figure that out. So I might call my dad and ask him. I'm not going to say what it is. It's nothing like bad or anything. It's just something that is kind of private. I don't really want to put it on the internet, but it's not like 
a bad dream or anything. It's just a memory that I'm not sure if it was a memory or not. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna eat this and, uh, I've also been hallucinating recently. No, I'm not on drugs. <laughs> I'm not high. It's just on one of my Tourette medication. One of the side effects is hallucinating. And so, since I first went on it when I was 12, I think I was, when I first went on it, I've... Every once in a while, I see little spiders crawling all over me, and the first time it happened, freaked me out. The first few times it happened, it freaked me out. But now I'm just like, okay, I'm just seeing things. There's no way there's like 15 spiders crawling on me. So if there's just one, I start to worry. But if there's 15, most likely it's just hallucination. <laughs> You're probably thinking I'm ri <clears throat> If you unsubscribe now, I <laughs> understand. I sound kind of crazy. No wonder I'm not married, but... <laughs> Anyways, um, that's just the way I was born, and I love myself anyways, so, you know, these things happen. Um, but, uh, yeah, gonna eat this, it looks so good. Look how good that, I mean, it doesn't look very good, but it, looks, it is really good. So, I'm gonna have that. Watch some YouTube. I'm gonna try and knit and see if, or crochet, what should I do, crochet or knit? I think I'm gonna crochet and see if I can get some of that dinosaur made. I'm also working on a shark. If you remember the video I did back in the day, I don't even remember what video it was, but I made a big shark. I crocheted a big gray shark for a little boy baby set. Well, there's another little boy I look after that I'm making a shark for. So I'm using the same pattern. It's a free pattern um, from Lisa Osh, I think is her name. I don't know how to pronounce this. A-U-C-H, I think. Um, but I'm using that pattern and... I think I'm going to make the dinosaur, though. I feel like making the dinosaur I was making earlier in the clip. So that's what I'm going to do, as long as my arm cooperates. And then, if my arm feels good enough, I'll do some reading. If not, I'll listen to an audiobook tonight. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, I've decided now. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> See you later. Hello. Good morning. It is the next day on Sunday. It is quarter to nine in the morning. And as predicted, I didn't sleep much last night, but I did last night and this morning get a lot of work done on the beat sheets for my store, my book I'm writing. And I've decided, I mean, why not make it hard? I'm going to make it a series. Um, I think in order to get it published, I have to make the first book kind of able to close, able to just be a standalone because you know, most author, most publishers don't want to commit to a series until they know the author. But it's basically going to be a five to seven book series. I'm very excited. Um, I've read most of Save the Cat Writes a YA novel now, and I've taken notes. I'm making several beat sheets up, probably up to 20 or 30 beat sheets um, for the whole series. Um, I'm working on book one right now, and I think I'll probably, once I get book one worked out, I will start writing book one, but, um, I'll add on to the series beat sheet as I go, when I come up with ideas and stuff, because there will be stuff, if I do decide to make it a series, which I'm not quite sure yet, but if I do, I mean, I'm pretty sure I will, so I might have to put in some foreshadowing in the first book. I don't know. I don't know if an, if a publisher would accept a series right away. I'm not sure. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, this, you know, it's all, it may all change in the end. I don't know. Um, one thing Jessica Brody says in the Say the Cat Writes a Y novel is that you can change things, right? So, Whereas your first book might be in multiple points of view, after you're done the first draft, you can change it to just one point of view if it doesn't work that way or whatever. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I've got lots of work done on it. Now I just have to actually outline it. <laughs> so I have to come up with some ideas. My arm is hurting like you wouldn't believe, but, um, and my fingers are hurting, but I don't care. I'm excited. So I'm just taking a little bit of a break. I'm sorry for the darkness. I have a light above this, but um, I'm just going to take a little bit of break and watch some YouTube, and then I'll probably watch the church service that I usually watch. I haven't watched it for like two or three months now, and I feel 
I feel like I need I need some time in church today, so I think I'll watch that. I think that starts at 10, and it's like almost 9 now, so I think I might have a little bit of a nap maybe, And because I didn't sleep much last night. I only slept for about two hours last night, so um, yeah, I didn't get any reading done, but I got lots of reading done. I mean, I did read most of, excuse me, I did read most of um, they say the cat writes white novels, so we'll count that as reading. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have a little bit of a nap now, so I will talk to you later. Bye. See you later. quarter to six on Sunday. I'm going to move this light and see if I can make it brighter. No, that didn't work. There we go. Is that better? That's a little bit better. So, I haven't done many updates today. I did read a lot of the ebook, which was Save the Cat Rights Why Novel by Jessica Brody. Um, and I did write a I did a lot of brainstorming and some writing in my outline. I, I set up a whole Google Doc and worked on that. So, and then I started the filling out the beats for my first book. I have decided to make it a series just out of the blue. So, um, I, I, I know I said I wasn't going to, but now I am. So, <laughs> yeah, I got I to gotta outline at least five books before I actually start reading book one. Well, no, I have to outline at least two books so I know what's happening in the second book, but I like to outline all the books in the series, and I'm thinking there'll be at least five books in the series. So, here's hoping. I don't know. I have to make it so that it wraps up enough so that if it does get published and it doesn't become popular or whatever, which it probably won't, um, it, you know, it can wrap up a story, but... I don't know. I know it's not best for a new writer to write a series and try to get it published, so I don't know what I'm going to do, but right now I'm writing a series, so I'm working on that. I am, it's like I said, it's a uh, quarter to six at night. I'm in my pajamas, and I'm going to start reading The Naturals. I think I'm going to start at the beginning again, because I think I only read two chapters before. I have to finish this by the time tomorrow night comes or whenever I leave the library tomorrow because I'm going to the library tomorrow and it's due tomorrow. So if I don't get a lot written today, maybe I'll leave it until Wednesday and go on Wednesday because it's open late on Wednesday and I just like going on Wednesdays. I don't know why. To me, Wednesday is library day. I don't know why. But I kind of want to go tomorrow. So if I do go tomorrow, I want to finish this there and finish it. That didn't make sense. I want to finish it either there or before I leave. So, I'm going to crack on and read some of this. So, this is basically a YA version of, what, what is it? Um, not CSI, the other one. I can't think of what it's called. I can see, I can see the actors in my head. I'm so tired, people. I'm so tired. Um... I can see it in my head, and I can't, you're yelling at me right now, I know you are, because you've heard of this, because it's been on book two forever. Um, I got CSI in my head, and I can't get it out, I know it's not CSI, but it's that other show with the dark-haired guy, I can't think of what it's called, but anyways, it's, oh, it's at the tip of my tongue, oh my gosh. Well, anyways, it's the YA version of that. 
Does that help you? Anyways, I will put it on the screen right here, what it is. I'll look it up and put it on when I'm editing, but, um, yeah. I'm working, I'm gonna read this for a while, and I do have an audiobook I have to finish in three days, and then I have a bunch of audiobooks I have to finish in five days, so I want to listen to some audiobook tonight, and I also want to work on my document some more, so I've got a lot to do, and I'm hoping... I'm hoping to stay up to like 11 and work on some things, so I've got like 5 hours, so I'm going to read for about probably an hour and a half or 2 hours, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Does anybody else get incredibly thirsty after they have a shower? I do. Every time. I need water after. I rarely love drinking water, except when I get out of the shower. Is that weird or is anybody else like that? Tell me in the comments below. Anyways. Whew, I'm out of breath. And my camera's moving because it's on my stomach and I'm breathing. <laughs> Sorry. Let's move the camera a bit. Okay. So. It is noon the next day on Monday. And I feel like I don't have enough footage for a vlog. But I'm going to put it up anyways. So. Here's what I did last night. I started a new book because, you know, that's what I do. Instead of finishing the naturals, I'm not going to go to the library like I planned on yesterday. Um, I'm moving the camera a lot. I'm sorry. I hope you're not getting seasick. Um, plus, my hair looks awful wet. Anyways, okay. I started The Witching Game by Meg Schaefer. Really enjoying it. I only read... How much did I read? Let's I read 28 pages. That's all I read. I went to sleep early last night. Had a good sleep. Today I couldn't find my medication, one of my medications. Freaked out. My dad called me down. He said, take a few hours and then go back and look again. I'm sure you'll find it. And he was right. I found it. So I took it like three hours late, but I took it and I'm happy about that because I just didn't want to go through the hassle of trying to get more meds, and it just, you know, it's a big hassle. So I finally found them, so I'm just taking today to just kind of relax, and because I took my pills, that particular med, late, I'm not really going to have much of a brain today, basically, because whenever I take it late, it takes longer for it to work. So, it doesn't make any sense unless you're in my mind. <laughs> in my body, it makes sense. So, um... I mean, I'm starting to be able to think straight right now, so that's good. It's been like an hour and a half since I took it. Because I took it around 10.30, it's now 12, so that's good. It's starting to work, so that's good. But I think today is probably a write-off. I shouldn't go to the library. Plus, my throat's kind of croaky, can you tell? It's kind of croaky, and I'm kind of worried about that because I was coughing like crazy last night in my sleep, so kind of worried but i get my flu shot on the 27th so hopefully i don't get a flu before that <laughs> here's hoping um and you know let's hope i don't get you know covid or anything because that would be horrible i remember last time i got it oh my gosh it was horrible i lost my voice for like four days on the other end i don't remember much about it because i slept the whole time so all i remember is i lived with my little well, back then he was one, and his mom, my little one-year-old and his mom, and he was crying a lot because he also had COVID, and he was kind of lethargic and crying a lot, and then also my roommate, his mom, had COVID, so we, all three of us, were just kind of there, but not really there, you know? Thank God that the little one got through it, though. He was fine after, like, two days, he was fine, so it was weird. We kept an eye on him, made sure he didn't have a fever, and so he had a fever for, like, an hour or so. I had a fever for three days, but no, the one-year-old had a fever for an hour. I was so mad about that. <laughs> no, I'm glad that he was fine because, you know, you worry about little ones getting it, but um, he was fine. I don't know why I'm talking about that. I'm sorry. I just hope I don't have that because that would be horrible, but um, yeah. I'm, uh, I just have a bit of a sore throat and croakiness. I'll, I'll do a test if I have to, but Right now, I think I'm okay, so here's open. And, um, yeah, so I'm just going to relax today. Going to do some reading. I want to finish The Naturals and um, 
get that. To, it's it's reading really quickly. It's a really good book. I'm really enjoying it. Um, Criminal Minds. Oh my gosh, I finally remembered that TV show. I was trying to remember last night. It's like a YA Criminal Minds. How come I couldn't think of it last night? It just came in my head now. Criminal Minds. It's like a YA Criminal Minds where there's a bunch of kids in the natural that are called naturals and they work for the FBI. And the first book is about Cassie who is a profiler and they find her and she becomes a profiler and they're just training them right now. All the naturals. There's four of them I think or five. Something like that. So it's really good. It's going really fast. Like I read like a hundred, like, I think it was 98 pages in an hour, which usually I read about 75 pages an hour, so that was really good. I'm really enjoying it, though. It's really good. I read that last night. I don't know if I updated you on that. I don't think I did. I read that around 7 o'clock last night. No, I don't think I did update you. And then around 10 o'clock, I read the 20 pages of this. So... Yeah, I did quite a bit of reading, but hopefully I'll finish The Naturals today. I'm sorry I didn't finish any books for this vlog, but I really want to get it up today because I haven't done any videos lately. So I'm sorry I didn't finish it, but maybe you'll get some recommendations from me because I am really enjoying this. I should tell you what this is about. This is about a, as far as I know, it's about an author who lives on an island that he created his story about. Now... He wrote a children's class, like a children's series that had like 50 something odd books in it. And then he suddenly stopped writing them and he retired. And now in the present, I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I haven't read the synopsis in so long and I really don't want to read it. But basically, I think he throws a competition where you win a certain amount of money if, yes, that's what happens, if you can like write a book or solve a contest I don't remember what it is I think it's a competition and this lady is trying to adopt a child and she needs money for housing and stuff so she tries to win the contest that's all I know it's really good so far though I like the writing it's mysterious it's pretty good I'm enjoying it I kind of want to read this I low-key want to read this instead of the naturals but I do want to finish the naturals so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do some more writing today but other than that I am going to close off this vlog. So thank you very much for joining me. I'm sorry it's a short vlog, but thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, God bless you and all you do. Have a great day. Enjoy your day. And, um, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And have a great day. Bye, guys.